up everybody? Today I'll be making deviled eggs and deviled eggs are super delicious and they're fairly simple to make. I enjoy them at birthday parties, at events, and they're a crowd pleaser. First up, you'll need a few ingredients. You'll need some cayenne, paprika, you'll need some scallions, you'll need some parsley, mayo, cream cheese, Dijon mustard, some lemon juice, and a few splashes of hot sauce, and of course your eggs. A few tools that you'll be needing to make these look perfect and wonderful. Party ready? You'll need a pastry bag with a star tip, you'll need a knife, you'll need a rubber spatula, and today I'll be using a KitchenAid with a whisk attachment to make the filling of the deviled eggs. First up, the method of cooking eggs for me that works best is what I do is I place my eggs and I make sure the eggs are at room temperature. I place them into a pot and I cover them so the water just reaches the top of the eggs. So the eggs need to be submerged, not too much water. And I put a splash of vinegar in there. And then I turn my heat on and I let it come to a boil. And when it reaches a boil, I, turn it, I leave it on for about a minute. After that, I turn it off, take it off of the heat, and then I place the lid on there. And let that sit for 10 minutes. And after that, what I do is I drain the hot water that's in there, and I put some cool water in there, and let that sit for about maybe two minutes, and then you're good to go to start peeling your eggs. After the eggs are cooled, of course, you'll remove your lid. And what I do is, this is a simple way of doing it. Of course, you'll need a hard surface. I'll take my eggs out, crack them on the bottom. There's a pocket in the bottom and you need that to release some of the tension around the shell. And what I do is I roll it. And this is gonna help release the shell from the egg itself. And then I bring back my water. And you need to do it over water. It just works better your egg. And that's a perfectly smooth and wonderful egg. And that's how you peel your eggs. After you peeled your eggs, you'll cut them down the middle. So, and as you can see, these eggs are perfectly yellow, um, perfectly boiled, so they're not overcooked. You don't want any gray in your eggs, and you'll pop that out. And you'll pop all of that into your KitchenAid. So after you've got all of the eggs, all of the yolks out of the eggs, you'll place them flat down. And what I do, it's a nice little trick. As you can see, the eggs are cut this way, not lengthwise. And what I do next is I take my little knife and I just snip a tiny bit on the bottom. And what that helps to, so your eggs are, can stand freely. You don't need to put them in any molds or anything so they don't fall over. And it just looks prettier in my opinion and you can store more of the eggs. So after I've gotten all of the yolks out of the eggs, I snip the bottoms until they're freestanding. What I'll do next is mix the filling. And I already have the egg yolks in there. So next I'll do, I'll add the parsley and scallions. I'll add some of the lemon juice. Some of the cream cheese, mustard, and mayo. The paprika and cayenne. And I'll whisk this together. And you'll let it go for about, say, about two minutes. And I can scrape the sides. Add two splashes of hot sauce in there. When it's 
finished. It'll be nice, kind of like a stiff peak. And what I've done, I've put my pastry bag into a tall container and I've folded over the edges. So it'll be easy to put my filling in there, no mess. And that's a nice little trick. Pop that in here. Next, the tip is already on there, the pastry tip. I'll fill my eggs. What you can do is decorate it with a few leaves of parsley. And these are your wonderful devil eggs. If you like my channel, please like my channel, uh, subscribe, and thank you for watching.